Hey guys, Savada here. I'm gonna be playing the most complicated game in the world, Stellaris, with a whole bunch of different DLCs and things like that. And I've got my totally nest. I'm gonna move the camera. My totally necessary friend over here with yeah, Nerf gun. I live here. Let me put that back. There we go. That was probably very horrible to look at, but oh yeah, well. It was. Uh, it would have been like, bad. Like jack shit must look good in comparison. That guy looks ugly. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. All right. This game is probably the. It's like Civ on like crack and acid at the same time, but in space. Uh, I'm stuck on the fact that I'm wondering if shit's a surname. <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. All right, let's let's look at my government, shall we? Uh, we are the not war bots. Uh, ruler traits. We are machine intelligence, so all of my rulers are immortal. They can never die, so I don't ever have to buy new ones unless they just like get murdered. Uh, my governing ethics are a gestate consciousness, which means that all of my people operate on basically a hive mind. But not hive mind because that's a different ethic. But anyway, uh, civics. The not warbots have the first civic. Warbots. Okay, then. Alrighty. That seems it increases their damage and decreases their but upkeep for the army. Is it, is it like when magic when you have something with a really high attack, but it's a defender? Maybe. Uh, and I get an extra research uh, alternative. Which I'll show you in just a second. Another thing that's great about machine intelligence is, is I don't have to deal with food. That's something you deal with a lot, though. It usually. really is. But then, every game you play is basically don't starve. That's the thing you forget about last is food, which is ironic. It's true. Alright, so first thing, let's take a look at our researches. Uh, normally you only get three, but I get four because I'm cool. Uh, one of my government ethics is static research analysis, which gives me research alternatives. Oh. I feel like I, I don't have too much of a comparison to other things, so I'm not going to say anything, but it sounded a little like, oh, you just get extra shit. A little bit. Red. See, what's really confusing about this game's, like, research method is it's not like a tech tree. I kind of just find random It's a shit. deck tech. I know, right? <laughs> I know, no, I, I, I meant to say it like that, too. So, basically, it just draws four random uh, texts so that I can learn. Like, they're literally just, like, finding shit in books and go, like, here, how try this? Maybe. So, we're going to do fusion power, because I can put that on my ships and it makes them better. Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. I can increase my monthly influence... Which is this right here. The third one, what word is that? Biodiversity studies. Yeah, what bio... What did I get? Biodiversity. Yeah, but it says something one. Um, oh, Biolab one. It unlocks the Biolab. Like more letters in there than it actually looks like. I don't know. See, here's the problem though. So influence, I use all... Well, actually I use every now and then. But I will mainly use it, like, if I want to go out here and like... Jeez. More. Oh, it is. So I can like go to a neighboring star and I can get that planet it, with a cost of influence and minerals. Uh, no, there will there will be like AIs just out everywhere. I didn't turn them down. So I'm so I'm gonna get raped. I am Earth. I am the soul. That's the name of our son. Your Earth, governed by what year is this? Twenty-two. Twenty-two hundred. In this universe, I may have destroyed, actually destroyed, universe Earth. But what actually basically happened in... Because this is a stencil that I used from a different 
uh, government called the uh, custodians, which are also robots. They basically found a harmony with humans on Earth, basically turning them in, into like pampered zoo animals. Yeah, pretty much. See, now my issue here is if I get the influence, which is really good, I'll be able to expand more because it costs a monthly gain if I place, like, frontier outposts to increase my borders. Okay. But then I won't gain influence as quickly, and if I don't gain influence, then I won't be able to expand more. It also costs influence to replace these guys if they die. Which can happen due to mechanical failures and things like that. Or I can get an army or naval capacity. I mean, I like games like this, but I'm not the best. I, I know that play. feeling. Yeah. Like so it becomes an issue of do I go with naval capacity, uh, a lower upkeep, or increase my influence? Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to do it. Expanding one thing is not a good idea. No. It really isn't. Uh, engineering facility, ion thruster, mining network 2, or coil gun. I'm going to go with the coil gun. So, one thing that's always really cool is F10. You, you get to manually mess with all of your ships. All of my ships, I have them based on avian design. Yeah, zero G. All right. Now the basic two ships: construction and science. Science ships will survey systems, boop -doop -doop -doop, and will discover resources and habitable planets. And one other thing that I can do, I'm actually going to zoom out for this. I'm going to survey. Hold shift. I'm going to survey a soul. Survey here. Survey here. So right here, so right here, so right here. Oh my god, like, ever heard of the, uh, I'm basically just queuing it. What's up? The, ever heard of, like, the salesman um, algorithm? The thing that doesn't exist and they paid millions of dollars for? Yeah. That'd be so good on a game like this if that existed. Right? Yeah. It sounds like a thing that could be a thing. Right, here, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna make it super fast. We don't need to stay here for years upon years, even though I'm going to anyway. Right. Well, they're robots, so they don't get, like, homesick. So you see, he's starting to discover uh, different sites that I can use for mining. Everything. I don't. I don't monetize my videos, so I can't really get copyright striked too bad. The most they can do is be like, "Hey, we're gonna put ads on your videos because you use the copyright thing." It'll just be in the future. I can't make money I off of it. Everything's copyrighted. <laughs> just assume it's copyrighted until someone says otherwise. That is true. They're damn good references, though. We're just going to clear everything. Why not? Oh, that's another cool thing, but also not cool about having robots. Cool, cool. It's, it's cool in some ways, not cool in other ways. Um, because if you have an organic society like humans, uh, they'll slowly spread and populate through different sectors as time goes by. But robots just stay in place? Nope. Well, you have to manually build them. So you can manually have them everywhere, like, all at once, which is really good. But if you don't do it manually, it never happens. Oh, you just gotta remember more shit. Yeah. But you don't have to remember food. That is the big one, yes. Yeah. Acknowledged. I feel like you chose them just for that. Right? That is a truth. <laughs> just one less thing to worry about. One We've confirmed problem. animal life on an alien world. Animal life? What the hell's an animal? What's an animal? What is animal? Never see an animal. I want them all dead. Wait. I'm not the warbots. Never what mind. Is life? 
Wait a minute. We're supposed to be the not war bots. But you have war bots. No. See, it says not war bot. But you have war bots. I don't know what you're talking about. This is not war bot. We're not war bots. We're not going to go to war. At not war bot. Alright, so now that he's finished surveying Seoul. Woo! Can you just blow up a star? No, but yes. I will explain momentarily as soon as I get 86 more freaking minerals. Just pull a super move out of your ass and blow it up. Actually, you can consume stars. Oh, like that. There's an item, or not an item, there's a thing that you can build later on called a Dyson Sphere. Uh, ooh, here's a thing. What does Dyson sound? Okay, so we're going to pause. Dyson like a vacuum later. I think so, yeah. That's funny. So, <laughs> uh... I paused. So, the one other thing is Unity, which I actually need to get more of ASAP, which will give me access to these. Yeah. No, it's, it's good. No. Your, your input is greatly appreciated. But I want, but it's I, good. I'm, I'm distracting myself from learning. That's okay. The okay. Yeah. So, uh, each one has different perks that will basically make you better. Like if I go with expansion, the moment I adopt it, my colony development speed doubles. Double is a good word. And then as I get each one, capital buildings now produce additional unity uh, for the purpose of colonizing and building frontier outpost systems count as being half the regular distance away. So it reduces the cost, unity cost to build them. Causes the machine frontier outpost upkeep reduced by 50%. New colonies start with additional population, things like that. And then if I get all of them, all five of those things, I get a finisher effect called uh, where adopting all expansion traditions increases our core sector systems by two. In addition, we will lock an ascension perk. So what that means is right now I only have soul under my control. But I can only have five planets under my direct control. As I get more, I can create districts that'll automate themselves. But I can't do any like micromanaging things on the planets to, if I need them to do something. You can have them prioritize certain things. Okay. Like you can say, I want minerals from this district. So there's a middleman. Yeah. It just inserts a middleman and then it deducts from your... Uh, core sector systems and so on and so forth. I don't like to do that you too know, bad, but you know, it's a thing. Weird. I feel like a minute, uh, I feel like a middleman that seems more experienced than you might be a problem in some cases. Like, if you think of it, you're a con man that needs a middleman. What if the con man's about a con man than you? That's true. Uh, no. Yeah, that's why I think every time I think middleman. Like, oh, like, so yeah. the Dyson Sphere, that's one thing I was thinking of. So the Ascension perks over here, whenever you max out any of these trees, oh. you get a Ascension perk, which are these, which are OP as all hell. Oh. Ready for this? Let's start at the top. Interstellar Dominion. Border range plus 25%. Oh. That's not double, but damn. So, straight up, this border... Poof. Poof. So, the radius increases? Or? Yeah. Uh, research speed plus 10%. That's another one. Uh, clear blocker cost by 50%. Which is, there's certain spaces on planets that you can't build on because there's like animals there, rubble, mountains, something like that. And this halves the cost to clear those, as well as unlock the ability to clear most of them without having to research it. Imperial Prerogative, Corp Sector Systems plus 5. Oh. So you can have like all the planets under your control. Share destiny. Yep. Subject integration influence cost minus fifty percent. What that means is basically if I were to take over another civilization, take over another sector, and then vassalize them. Basically make them my bitch. I've never heard the word vassalize before. I'm now interested in that word. What does it mean? Basically they become my bitch. They basically become my little slaves, and they do what I tell them. 
uh, not full control, but authoritative control. Authoritative control, yeah, basically. Uh, you know, it's really weird. Mm hmm. Like, you, when you know a word, but you can't describe it to someone when they ask, like, what does that word mean? I don't know, but I can use it as a sentence. Use it as a sentence. Okay. What does that mean? I don't know. That's me with every word in my vocabulary. Makes sense. I can use it properly every way. Alright, here's another one. World Shaper. Terraforming speed plus 50%, terraforming cost minus 25% and gains atmospheric manipulation. So, so I can basically make any planet I want. A habitable planet. Or inhabitable, fuck those Naval capacity plus 200. <laughs> There's a number. Currently minus 15. <laughs> As I get more planets and more uh, space stations, I'll it'll increase, but yeah, plus 200. As for the one that I actually am looking at, is not this one. Mega structure builds really plus 150, or 100 percent, so doubles my ability for uh, building mega structures, which is actually down here at Galactic Wonders. Unlocks a Sentry Array, Science Nexus, and a Dyson Sphere. The Circle of Life unlocks Mega Structure Ring World. What those do? Is I make Halo. Ironically, it's the war bots that control the circle of life. Ha. Huh. Yeah, eventually you can straight up make Halo. The only thing that sucks about it, though, is you don't want to put it into any system that already has a planet. Because it uses planets as building material. So it destroys four planets in order to make it. So you want to put it in, like, this, this place. Get out. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> but but as for uh, the Dyson Sphere, what it does is it makes all life in the system barren. I swear to God, Dyson's the name of a vacuum coming or it, it is. But it actually surrounds the sun with basically solar panels. And it makes like a thousand energy credits per month. No sun, but but so now there's care. no sun. You're, you're robot, so you don't care. And since I'm robots, what's really cool is I also, since I'm a robot, look at my. Where's it at? I'm looking. I can't find it. But it allows me to. If it's, if it's able to be populated, I'm populating it. Well, yeah. You I don't need to breathe. I don't need to worry about the atmosphere. I don't need to worry about weather conditions. It's it's advanced enough that we're probably waterproof. But like, but taking the risk then? Yes. All right, let's let's move on. Oh yeah, I never did adopt. I'm gonna do a supremacy because oh. when I adopt it, my border range increases by twenty percent. And it'll actually give me, like, ship build speed and, uh, freaking... You sound like you're going to go pretty aggressive for a non-war bot. <laughs> That's the point here. All right. Irony. We got another thing to do. Irony. Robots. Iron. Eh. He makes a lot of bad puns. Uh... All right. Um... Ooh, this is tough. I think I'm. I'm thinking positronic CPUs or a network junction. Network junction. Kind of like that keeping track of things, like a lot of things, kind of strategy game. Yeah, it gets pretty crazy. Oh no! And then you lose a lot, like, very bad. I, I would like this game, but I knew it wouldn't do too good. Like I've I've lost faith in myself in some strategy games ever since I lost to a two in Stratego. <laughs> That's right. Okay, there's a story. It's story time, boys. It's a special variant of uh, so Stratego, so strategic. Well, it, the rules are still the same. So well, mostly. So we're playing Stratego. I hopefully you know what that is. If you don't know what that is, I'm severely disappointed in you and just go away. But basically, there are two pieces in the game that can move in a straight line as many spaces as you want, like a rook in chest, in the, in the variant, whatever. A 2 and a 10. So, 
uh, Aiden here is moving forward with his 10, and I know it's his 10 because he murders one of my, like, fives. And as I'm moving forward, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to juke him out. I move a 2. The only 2 I have left straight at him, like, one space away because it was, like, one to the left so I couldn't get directly at him. So, and I wouldn't have anyway because it's a 2. <laughs> But he gets spooked because he thinks it's a 10. I don't want to lose that. It's like my only high number. It's like literally my only high number left. Because I still had the 9, and he lost his 9 a long time ago. The thing is, I didn't know it was his only 2. Because, like, this, okay, so the other one side of the box set has parts to put the pieces in and keep track of. I accidentally put, like, the 3 over the last 2 slot. Or something yeah. like that. No, so it's just you never looked over to look at it. No, there was... There was, there was Space that was next to it. It was it was it went two 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 three space three. I thought you had one more three left. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so he's like, I'm gonna retreat out of here. So he moves into a little corner, and he moves literally directly next to my actual ten, where I just murder him. Straight up. So. It's under the consensus that he just lost to a 2 in Stratego. Not directly, but... Not directly, but he basically did. Yeah. Like, it couldn't be any more like, direct. Yeah, if it was for the 2... It was... It was a no, good wrong, time. Like Stratego. 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 Oh, no fair, you didn't have a strategy. Yeah, but I had a better Stratego. You're yeah. still bad at puns. I thought it was puns reference, actually, and I don't think anyone will get it. It was... It, 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 it's, 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 it's vague and probably poorly reenacted. I dropped the thing. We'll stop dropping things. You can probably hear that on the mic, and I apologize. It's a, it's a, it's a very, very small... I like, got the smallest one you've seen, but just a, a little tiny thing. Calibri OP. Not, no, this, this actually seems smaller than this. This isn't even that. Don't stop it. Go away. Okay. okay. Like uh, we got another one. We got another one. Um. Gravitic sensors. Sure. Um, where's my? There it is. So now that I have uh, a settlement started on Alpha Centauri. Hmm. Yeah, that's a place. No, this is actually you can. Based on our no, no, it's just the it's just the civilization I'm I using. Swear yeah, it is. It well, Soul and the surrounding systems are historically oh, correct. What this? Oh, I thought I saw a planet just like shot off into the distance. Oh no, that's one of my science ships going over okay. here. <laughs> I, I thought like just Mars. So just as you can see, like look at my border range. You can see how it's slowly starting to expand. So it's not like, always a perfect circle. No. It's based on where I put my planets. So that 25% is like... So like if I take uh, this potentially habitable planet, it costs 114 to colonize, uh, 100 for a base, and then 14 because of wh how far away it is from my main system. And it costs 500 minerals to do it. Here, we're we're going to pause because a lot of shit just got said to me. What do you want? Don't care. Uh, what do we want? Uh, ship build speed, naval capacity, maybe seed planet war demand, uh, army damage. We'll do modular hull. Okay. more stuff out faster? Yep, pretty much. Did we, like, didn't you play a VR game where it was just basically get stuff out faster than the other guy? Yes! It was a fun game, but it what didn't, it was kind of shallow. It, it, it was just... I'm watching, it's like, it's same strategy every time, and strategy just is a spam. loose term. Yeah. See, the problem here now is I'm waiting on a whole bunch of minerals, and I can come over here and just start building different, like, mineral stations, mining stations, but it's not really going to help. Let's see. Surface. That's what we needed to do. Build up my population. We're going to build up a population here, here, here. So now those will slowly start to mature and develop. So we are going to go mining network. So the robots have like the culture? If 
if you want to call it a culture, I guess. I mean, yeah, but no. Yeah. So, I can get a spaceport level 2, which will slowly allow me to build bigger and better ships, or I can start getting uh, things like better armor and missiles. Maybe. Yeah, I like it. Uh, army upkeep, naval capacity, or tile blockers. I'm thinking army upkeep. Army upkeep minus, like, minus 10%. Well, what it is, is because my military, which is right here, it's abysmal right now, but every ship in it, every ship in it has a maintenance. So every Corvette in this uh, three-man crew, it's still abysmal, costs 0.4 energy per month and 0.4 minerals per month. Which is, once you start uh, actually developing your navy, then you start having to deal with that a lot more. I really need more everything. So I... What do you mean? This, the, 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 the mouse and keyboard? Yeah. yeah, I have my mouse and keyboard just kind of sitting on my lap. Well, but it's com setups. But it's comfy. Yes, but like, it's only the Alright. Bam! Uh, what are we naming it? I like your reasoning. We'll keep it. So right now my problem here is my energy credits are starting to go low. You need more energy? Yeah. I'm only at plus one. I don't like being that low. Oh, you're only getting plus one per month. You can go into negatives, can't you? I can? Zero. Yeah, it's negative right now at minus point eight. I don't know. But I don't know. the problem is once that hits zero, then everything starts to shut down. Uh we're gonna get Research speed. See, one thing that also matters is it. Th this costs a whole bunch of energy to do until it's finished. All right. I have encountered advanced alien life. Alpha aliens. That could be a new civilization. Once you conquer everything, if you discover something new, would it even be alien anymore? Mm. Maybe. I started that off weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. You usually like, do that. Like, when you discover something. Oh, God. You discover a new life. So it's alien. Then you have it. Then you forget Oh, God. It, oh, God. You rediscover it. It's still the alien. It was at minus eight for a few seconds. Because <laughs> it costs eight per month to settle a planet until it's settled. Oh. All right. Uh, we're going to build power plant here. Yeah, another power plant here. I'm gonna get another power plant power here. Plant. And we're gonna get a science lab. Make this the mitochondria. I'm proud of you. But also not. I learned a thing about the mitochondria. It has separate DNA from the rest of the cell. It is basically its own cell. Basically the rest of the cell just kind of ate the mitochondria at some point in whatever you want to call it. Boop. Uh, boop, just, it, boop. Just, it's like symbiosis. See, also not. you know, you know what I want to get better at. Understanding me? No, I understand you. But my FTL, faster than light travel, uh, yes. is currently at warp, I, which is the easiest one to do. It's just warping from one place to the next, Star Trek style. Is that faster than light? Yeah, faster, uh, faster than light. Much. Uh, a little bit. It's rather slow, though, considering. Yeah, comparatively. To because the other ways that you that there is, there's hyperspace, which is faster than warp, but you have to travel along designated lanes. So you can only go 
to specific spots based on where the hyperlands take you. Uh, no idea. Well, you just said hyper lane, so I feel like I something. It's literally space that's hyper, moving faster than our current space, therefore traveling. Probably either that or it's like uh, Minecraft Nether. Oh, like you move three there, which is like nine there. That makes sense. Hyper I don't know, I think hyper is moving faster, so whatever you do is. Maybe, but anyway, so you can only go where the hyperlanes take you, but it's still kind of kind of free moving. Yeah. But and then there's the third way that I want to get good at wormholes. You can literally make wormhole stations to increase your range of travel, but it adds a uh, structure that the enemy can destroy which limits your movement because as your science ships move out, you have to build more wormhole stations to get out there otherwise you can't get out there that's why I'm currently doing warp because warp you can literally go anywhere I just thought about teleportation but then I realized no that'd be slower because I have to go off light speed to get you there right maybe because so, teleportation can only move your shit at the speed of light right like if it turns it into protons and stuff like that Ooh, we got another we got another else. one Spare part depot or a bio lab? Spare part depot sounds nice. Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna do that because it actually produces unity. Um, electronic warfare. Yes. Another thing that I need to work on is these numbers. These are my research speeds for this. But I, as you can see underneath here, there's research stations that I can build to increase that number, but I just That's haven't. What? It's literally the only plate of chicken bones. It was literally the only. Okay. Whatever works, I guess. Okay, so we need to get my construction ship working on more power. So we're gonna make him build some stuff over there. All right, let's see, what do you got? All those are built, just waiting for population. What about on Earth? Actually upgrade that. Um, we're actually going to switch these two up because I need that plus four now and I can deal with the unity later. We will, on the other hand, build a whole bunch of population on the rest of the planet. And then here, we're going to build that, build that. And I'm lacking resources. Yay! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Um, a beta fleet of evil aliens. Uh, looks like I need to start developing a military. So I go to my spaceport. Let's see, do we have any upgrades? Uh, we do. Come down here, and I can upgrade these to fusion reactors. My fusion reactors can get one shoot. Five. Because this has five modification slots. Ah. But you don't want to build too many because then it increases its upkeep. Ah. I feel like a fusion core moving faster than light is not a good idea. Um, maybe. But the fusion core is its uh, uh, power supply in impulse, slower than light. So now, so I'm just going to build four crevettes. Research done. Uh, let's get a sentinel point defense. 
what that'll do is it's a component that I can put on a ship that has a point defense type and it basically destroys missiles. What? Do you know how I know? Oh, that's fancy. That's that's snazzy right there. <laughs> you don't need that just does it for you. Yeah, I set it on auto find my face. If your face goes off frame though then. Then it'll scan in the entirety of the radius. Otherwise it'll center. Why? No, no hostile fleet. More warbots, though. I mean, I mean, no, you're not. You're not warbots. Yeah, definitely not warbot. At least peaceful. You don't have an army. Please right. don't. Weapon range, no. Ship hold point, no. Uh, we will do this one. So right now, I just got an admiral for my fleet, which makes it better. An admiral for your non-warbots. Yeah, for my not warbot fleet. More Corvettes needed. Your Girl Scout cookie transportation year. That sounds like a legitimate thing. I approve. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't have the technology yet. Did you name it non warbot? Yes. Ah, yeah, that was like just randomly. Like, uh, oh, wow. We can just straight up get destroyers now. Oh. What do those do? They're bigger. <laughs> I wonder if they destroy things. Yeah. Weird. Alright. You know what? We're going on a lot of time. So we're going to call this episode a... Can, uh, it has been 18 years. So we will return this in the next video. And hopefully we'll actually be able to make first contact with an alien civilization. Does it count as alien? Yes, but first con actual first contact. Oh. Uh, like with government. Oh. Uh, this is just kind of like festering newts on a rock, really? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of civilization? Nah, yeah. Well, why do you use the word newt? Newt. All right. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And be sure to join us for the next episode of this, because we will be doing more of this, because Stellaris is complicated and fun, and I'm going to die very hard, and it's going to be a great time. Hopefully it takes a while, though. We'll see. Yeah. I usually die as soon as I find, like, two more civilizations, and then I'm just, like, done. Actually, there's been a lot of times that I just got all the civilizations to just like me, and then just go to rape a third person. Wasn't that like in a... I think you're better on that's online. Yeah. Well, if I have NPCs to back me up. Okay. It's a good time. Alright. Well, we'll see you guys next time.